G'day folks, Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. In today's episode, we finally get the springs and the diffs off and we move the chassis back into the workshop and continue with the restoration. <music> It's interesting to note here where we've put tannic acid on, uh, on the surface here, it's a nice dark surface. And in this area here where we didn't put tannate, because we've got to do a little bit of work a bit later, so we didn't bother tannating it. You can see the flash rusting there, uh, the surface corrosion that's um, occurred, because we've had about an inch of rain in the last couple of weeks, and a bit of surface corrosion there where we haven't tannated. So it shows the effectiveness of the tannic acid. To use this word obvious, yes. We just put the tray back on, bolt it to there where that's a uh, one day's on. You put your little pads on, rubber pads which should be on there, or anti erosion pad. And where it sits at the back, the tray, we just put it on there, cut the pop rivets, take the tray off, and then weld it up. That way, you get the right height and the right fore and aft. That sounds logical. <laughs> Well, it, it's a double check, if nothing else. You know, we can do it other ways, but it, that could be a good double check. Yeah. And so you just pop the it on, then take the tray off, and then we can roll it around. So, this plate is threaded, so unlike a normal shackle bolt where the head of the bolt is deformed and jammed in, it's actually threaded through the plate, so you're going to have to unscrew the bolt yep. as best you can. This one's going to be crappy. Clean it up. Yep. Clean up with a wire brush. Yep. Unscrew the bolts and that'll disconnect the uh, spring from the chassis. Oh, that's stiff. Give it some more WD-40. We'll let it sit for a minute. Cost associated with subscriptions, you just need that no, scale. free. Yeah. There's a note, to viewers. Subscription is free. Mm -hmm. Why don't you think it'll start, Paul? Well, I think he's out of petrol. Mm. I think they've gone too far, way too no far. No fuel, it's a fuel issue. Might have been water in the fuel or diesel in the water or something. Sometimes when you've got a little bit of an issue getting in between things to get them out, if you've got to cut through something, this is the tool to use. It's a lovely thing. So we've got a new one of these, the um, gearbox member. You can see there's a significant difference in the height there where the old one's been uh, tonked in rather badly. Um, we didn't realise until we put the new one next to it quite how bad that was. Just across member to, take, to keep the chassis aligned. So it takes the width and takes a bit of a knock on the bottom to save the sump. Well that... Uh, has done its job. Done it, did its job. Done its job. Yeah, done, did, done did its job. Uh, we're not sure if we'll repair or replace this. Uh, I'd be interested to see the height on what it's meant to be. But it's that's good. flat. That's just straight plate. That's straight plate. Yeah. That's a bit bent. Um, that looks good. You're making good noise again, John. Yeah. Uh, John, we need these bump stops off. Those nuts and bolts look pretty crappy. Mm. I don't think we're going to be able to get them off with a spanner, so I think we're going to be cutting them off. We want to leave this piece intact, mm -hmm. and the bump robbers look okay, so we want to keep them too. It's upside down, so these tabs hold the tub. Mm -hmm. You imagine the back end of the short wheelbase. Yep. And they go forward a specific amount. So it's 35 mils down. And 100 and... Uh, 1352. Two, four. 
almost of the difference. Fifty-two. So twenty millimeters that way. Is Something what like that. Saying it's a bit more adjusting we can do at this end. Yep. And I'll probably test fit this a few more times. If we're taking twenty mil off, mm. it's awfully you know it doesn't fit here by a lot. If we need to move it that way, twenty mil. Mm. Mm. Yeah, a long wheel days now. <laughs> done a bit more chassis cleaning so we're back up to our old trick of the tannic acid. These are the tools of the trade, the Galmet ionizer, a can and some uh, gloves. This is actually the condition of the chassis once it's been ground with the wire brush. So this is the old original black paint. This stuff will flash rust so we're going to tannate that. So we had a bit of a go at re removing this steering uh, relay. Um, I believe it pops out that way, but I need to do a bit more research anyway. It wouldn't budge. So um, we'll have another look at that next week. Drops out. <laughs> so at the end of day seven, we didn't make as much progress as uh, I thought we'd have it on the road today, but clearly not. But uh, we got the chassis completely stripped down now. There's not, nothing more we can pull off it, pretty much. Uh, we had a test fit of the rear cross member. Did a bit more cleaning of the chassis and a bit more tannic acid, so it's starting to look pretty good. Uh, nice and clean. Uh, we discovered a few more rip, ripples, wrinkles. Probably need a spray of WD-40 to fix that one. So as English Stevo suggested, Next week we'll probably fit the tub, mark it all up and uh, weld, weld the rear cross member into position. So we'll also be cutting this off and replacing it with the one that we've received uh, from England. Um, we'll be going through that process. And I guess we'll also be making a decision about what to do with this uh, cross member. But I suspect we'll be repairing it as John said, it's, uh, it's all flat plate so it's pretty straightforward to repair. Cut that out, ding it out, do, do our thing with it. Uh, and that should come up okay. So we're a question about what electric motor and battery system we're going to put in. Haven't made that decision yet. We're probably a few months away from that. Um, we're focused at the moment on just trying to get a rolling chassis happening. Um, you know, the chassis should be done next week. And then we can focus on the diffs and the gearbox, the running gear, brakes, clutch, that kind of stuff. Getting that back on. We've got to have a look at the firewall yet. We haven't even thought about that. So. Plenty to do before we have to make decisions about uh, the electric vehicle component of it. We're happy to take advice. We're happy to, for you to come down and give us a hand too if you like. So anyway, that's that. Um, that's about it for the week. So we'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.